When solving this puzzle, we're going to look for leftovers. I'll explain what that means in just a minute. This is puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, volume 124 by Soap Opera Digest. If you like these videos, mouse over the red button or red box in the lower right hand corner of the video and click the subscribe button or just click the subscribe button below the video and then click on the bell icon if you'd like to be notified of, of new videos coming out. A lot of these techniques that I'm going to go over are at sudokuprimer.com so you can go out there and uh, you can learn more about all the different techniques that you can use uh, to solve puzzles. Well, let me explain what I mean by leftovers. Now, if you need, if you see, um, if you notice there's a one and a six in this row here, outside of box two, so we know these are one six twins. Okay, but we can't solve the one and six yet because we don't have enough information. But there are two cells left over in this box, and what are those? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 5 and 8. We can solve them because there's a 5 right there. Now sometimes you can take two or three or four steps uh, looking at leftovers to find something. And let me illustrate that right here. We've got a 1 and a 5 in this row and so we know that one of these is one and the others a five. We have one five twins here. We can't solve them, but that tells us, tells us what these three leftover cells are right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three, seven, and eight. We can't solve the one five twins or the three, three seven, eight triplets, but with these three, seven, eights here, we, we have four more cells left over here. Let's look at those. What are we missing up here outside of the 3, 7, and 8, and then the 1 and 5 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 4, 6, and 9. We've got a 2, 4, and a 9 here, so we can put a 6 there. And we've got a 4 and a 9 here, so we can put a 2 there. So you can see. Um, when you find twins or triplets or any place where you know there are certain numbers, look for leftovers. We found the 378 leftovers and therefore we found these 2469 leftovers. We were able to fill in a couple of numbers there. Now with that 6 there, we know this is a 6 right here, and then we can solve the 1-6 twins that we found in box 2 at the beginning. Let's look at box 5 now. We, we've got a couple of numbers missing here, and they are 1, one and 8. So we know there's a 1 and an 8 here, 1, 8 twins, and wonder if we can find out what these two numbers are. We've got a 3 here and a 3 here, so one's a 3. We've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so one's a 5. So we have three 5 twins here and one 8 twins there. That leaves three, three um, numbers or three cells left over. So let's see what those are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 7, and 9. So we have 4, 7, and 9 left over here. And that means that this cell is of 2. Now we could have found that 2 because there's a 2 here and a 2 here. But I wanted to illustrate how um, looking for leftovers helps you find numbers too. Okay, so we got 1, 8 there, 3, fives there, 4, 7, 9. There's a 7 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 4. I 
can't solve the others right now. Let's see, there's a five here and five there. There's a five right there. Let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? Two, three, four, six, eight. Oh, look at that. Three, four, six, and eight. So we know that's a two right there. And really what we're doing here is we're finding all the numbers that we're missing and seeing if there's only one left over. So it's a different way of looking at leftovers. All right. And now we've got a six here, six, six, six. So that's a six right there. And we're missing 3, 4, and 8. There's a 4 there. 3, 8, 3, 4, and 4, 8. So we can't solve those yet. But there's a 2 right there that we can fill in. All right. Let's look at so you've got a 1 and a 1 here. So one of these is a 1, one of these is a 1. And these are 1, 7 twins. And so therefore one of these three is a 1. Okay. Now let's look at this section here. We've got a 1 and a 1 there. So one of these two is a 1. And here's our 1, 5 twins. One of these two is a 1. So we know that one of these is a 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1. So we know that's a 1 right there. Now the, what I used right there was double column elimination here because we've got a 1 in one of these two cells and a 1 and a 1 in these two cells. And so we know it had to be one of these two. And here I used double row elimination. 1, 1, 1. And using both double column and double row elimination I found that 1 there. That concept is taught on uh, sudokuprimer.com in the techniques section if you'd like to look that up. Alright, now we've got a, a 6 right there. And we've got a 4 right there. Alright, now let's look at let's look at box six here. We've got a two and a nine there and a two and a nine here. So we have two nine twins. They're pretty easy to see. But now we've only got two numbers left over here. And those are three, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. So finding these two nine twins, we found leftovers of three and eight there. I don't think we can solve any of those, but we'll remember those for now. All right, let's look at, let's see, 9, 9. There's a 9 right there. A 9, 9 right there. this four here and this four here, we have ghost fours here. The ghost numbers are explained on sudokuprimer.com. Four there, four there. So ghost numbers, ghost fours there, four. So that's a four right there. And therefore we have a uh, four in box three right there. Uh, let's see what we're missing in row one here. Three, seven, so we can solve them. Let's see if we can finish this box here. Eight there. Five and nine are missing there, so finish that one. All right, with this nine, now we can solve the two nine twins that we found here. in box 9 right there. All right, 
with this 3 we can solve the 3 8 twins that we found. And that leaves a 4 and an 8 right there. And there's an 8 there, so we can fill this in. With that 8, we know that's an 8 right there. And that 4, we know that's a 4 right there. Okay, we're missing 1 and 3 right here and 1 and 7 right there. Got a 3 there, so 3, 1, 1, 7. We can solve all four of those. All right, now we've got a 3, 3, 3 right there, and that's a 3 right there. Now we're only missing 2 and 7 here, so we can fill those in. All right. Well, we had 7 and 9 there, which we can solve now. And a 1 and an 8 there, which we can solve. And a 3 and a 5 there, which we can solve. There's a 7 and an 8 missing there. See what this number is here. We got a six, three, four, nine, five, two. So that's a five. And what are we missing? One and seven there. And our one and five that we found right at the very beginning. We can solve those. And that's all. Right. So um, finding those leftovers really made short order of this puzzle. It made it pretty easy to solve once we found a few um, leftovers and we were able to find some numbers using that uh, concept. So that helped quite a bit. Um, so another, another tool that you can put in your toolbox is uh, looking for leftovers. Well thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please subscribe if you like this channel.